Good morning, Goldies. Hi, Faith. Hi. Hi, Kira. The mornings come bright and cheerful, full of the eagerness of life. The air is so crisp and clear. The fog of night rolls away. Nestling into milk makes my soul go still. The earthy smells, the rhythmic sounds, the warm feel of soft skin and fuzzy fur, the joy of seeing my content friends, the miracle of milk. Milking, the time of peace, all is well with the world inside my barn. The winds may howl in discontentment, the light may get drowsy, fighting off the seasons of change. The trees may morph into a fraction of their former glory. Winter sets in, but nothing can change the goodness of God, the faithfulness of each new day, the tenderness and love for my companions, the feel-good feeling of providing for my family. Yes, it's true, milking is a favorite part of my day. Our new goat Delight is settling in well and she's figured out how to get her own little treat even when she's not in milk. Every day, each goat shows off their quirky personalities. <laughs> it's so fun to watch and be a part of. But now, it's time to go in and turn this milk into more yummy food. Let's find out what we can do with the milk today. We're back in the kitchen once again to learn what else we can do with goat milk. If you have several goats in milk, there's a potential that you are overrun with milk and you need ways to be able to use it. But I hope that all week you have been indulging in delicious goat milk yogurt like we have. We've been making goat milk yogurt for years now. We love it, it is so delicious. And in last week's video, I shared how I make my yogurt. And in that video, there are so many good comments in, in below the video that can be helpful for you as well. So be sure to check out that video so you can learn how to make yogurt if you aren't yet. And today, I am going to be showing you how to make goat milk cheese the easiest goat milk cheese that you will ever make in your life. It is so simple and so easy to make. And, and if you're not making it already, you need to definitely start. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Once again, I have my thermometer here. This will beep when I, it reaches the temperature that I want it to. Okay, so I need to set this. Okay, so I have my thermometer set to let me know when 180 degrees is reached. And when it reaches that temperature, this will beep, we'll turn it off, and we'll do the next step. So let's get that set aside here, get it turned on. So I'm gonna just turn this on to a lower heat, so it'll slowly heat up to 180. So we should be set for just a bit. I'm going to step away into the other room and start doing some work and then I will wait for this to beep. When it beeps, I will come back and do the next step. Believe me on this, if you step away to work on something while this is getting up to the temperature, you will be amazed at how quickly it comes to temperature and how quickly it's actually boiling and you don't want it to boil. So if you don't have a thermometer that will beep when it reaches the certain temperature that you need, then do pay close attention so that when it gets to 180, you're turning it off. Now that it's reached 180 degrees, it's very simple what we do next. You will take your vinegar, and for every gallon, I have about a gallon right here, you will use one cup of vinegar, and you will pour it in there. You'll just slowly pour that in. It's 
you can see that it's already starting to curdle. You can see that it's it's separating the whey and, and turning the, the other part of the milk into actual uh, cheese curds. So it's, it's separating it and curdling it almost instantly. I'm gonna slowly and carefully work the vinegar around through here from top to bottom just gently bringing up from the bottom the milk. I'm gonna let this set for a bit and I'm gonna get my strainer ready so that I'll be able to catch the whey and also then strain these curds. All right, so now that this is sat a bit, I, I have my bag here all set up and ready to go. I'm gonna start ladling it in. Oh no, I missed. And then, because I'm not paying attention, I'm doing that. <laughs> okay, so try not to do that. And this is kind of hard because everything is pretty wiggly and hot. I'm dealing with a really hot liquid here. Um, I do have underneath the pan to catch the whey because you can use the whey for yummy things as well. Now the cheese curds that will start to drain, as you can see. What do you think? Does that look like something you can do? Yeah, pretty simple, isn't it? So I hope this week with your extra goat milk, you are making some fabulous cheese. The easiest and fastest way that you can. Enjoy those treats. And outside our project is working on making a little shelter for our very big pig who is going to be farrowing soon. So with the weather as cold it is, as it is and getting colder, we need to get her little house built and ready for her and new little piggies. And the extra little hands are always very helpful. Have a great week. Bye-bye.